Rasmussen surveyed public perception of COVID-19 vaccine injuries, finding that millions have experienced side effects. This video compares polling data with medical evidence from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and their Vaccine Adverse Effects Reporting System, VARs. Dr. Macquarie reports hundreds of thousands of VAERS vaccine injury reports in a broadcast dated September 2nd, 2025. Vaccine injury and God forbid vaccine deaths have been a very, very small minority of the tens, hundreds of millions of people who've taken this vaccine. Hundreds of thousands of Americans describe vaccine injury. 25% uh, of clinicians know of somebody that's been significantly disabled or died from a vaccine. We know there's a risk of myocarditis in young healthy men. That's one in 2,600 young boys. So, uh, to, to, you know, when, when people use these blanket terms, uh, they're ignoring the very nuanced question in medical science, and that is, do the benefits outweigh the risks? That is the question. Not uh, let's you know blindfold ourselves and insist that everybody take this. Look at the last administration rubber stamping COVID boosters every year with no updated clinical trial. And we said we're not going to keep going down this road. The Rasmussen poll from November 21st, 2025 reveals that 68% of US adults received the COVID-19 vaccine. Of these, 36% reported side effects, with 10% experiencing major effects. This extrapolates to approximately 17 million adults with major side effects. The survey reports self-reported major side effects without medical verification. The survey measures public perceptions rather than confirmed diagnoses. CDC data shows 70 to 90% of mRNA vaccine recipients report mild short-term side effects. This contrasts with Rasmussen's 36% reporting any side effects, highlighting much higher reported side effects from the public than by the CDC. For serious or major side effects, vaccine injury in the VAERS reports, the numbers are in the thousands, but those represent less than 1% of the vaccinated population. However, this is significantly lower than Rasmussen's 10% estimate of major side effects. The survey suggests 17 million major side effects, while VAERS reports thousands. This highlights a significant gap in estimates, raising questions about data interpretation from both sources. Understanding data issues is crucial. Surveys may over-report by including unrelated health problems, while VARs might underreport serious effects. Why is that? A British medical journal investigation reveals that 1.7 million reports overwhelmed CDC and FDA investigators. The Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, and a congressional committee found that VAERS vaccine injury and death reports were not properly investigated, leading to inaccurate numbers. Key takeaways include that the Rasmussen survey reflects public perception, not medical diagnoses. The lack of public trust is evident in even lower booster uptake in 2025. Viaz's lower reporting of serious side effects may not be reliable for the CDC to claim lower vaccine injury than the public perception suggests.